Now we're going to have a look and see how to calculate the volume of the skull box. Remember we said that volume is equal to area of base times height. And so in our video where we looked at the volume of a cube or a box, we said that you should choose a base and then you and then you need to choose a height. So let's say for example we had to choose the shape over here as our base. If you then had to drag that shape, would that shape complete the entire figure? Well, it wouldn't, because if we had to drag that shape, which is a rectangle, then it would cause, so if you had to drag it in this direction over here, it would just form a big rectangle, a rectangular kind of shape. And I mean, we can see as soon as we start dragging A, or as soon as we start dragging C, it's already gone outside of the shape, if that makes sense. So the better base to choose in a shape like this would be the following. Because imagine you had to drag this shape now, so A would have to drag in this direction, C would have to drag in that direction, and B would have to go in that direction. Well, at least now, that triangle is going to stay inside the shape. And so if you had to drag it to the halfway point, you would be over here. And so you would have already completed or filled up half of the shape already, and then you would just continue to drag that shape all the way to the end. Notice that that base works because it doesn't go outside of the shape. Where, whereas when we looked at the rectangle, we said that this won't work because as soon as you try complete the shape, you would have to sort of try and drag. I mean, you might try to get A to go down to B, so that's fine. But then if C tries to go down, well, there you've just gone out of the shape. Or you might try and get C to get to side B, but then if you do the same with A, well then it goes out of the shape. So you have to choose a base that stays within the shape when you start dragging it. So the ideal choice is going to be this base over here. And so the area of our base, well that's just going to be the triangle, so that's just going to be half times base, which is 3, times by height, which is 2. And when I say height, I mean the triangle height, not this height over here. So volume says we take the area of the base, which is this part over here, half base times height, and then the distance that you're going to drag it, which in our example is going to be from, for example, from A all the way to E, that is what we talk about when we talk about the height. It's the length that you're going to have to drag that shape so that it completes everything. So that's going to be times by 10. And if you do that, you're going to end up with 30 meters cubed. Remember, volume is always to the power of 3. 